Hello everyone, once again, welcome back to how to hack. So this is a continuous session of our DBWA, that is Damn Vulnerable Web Applications. We are going to the first tutorial, that is a brute force attack. I know we have already discussed about a kind of brute force attack using Hydra tool in our previous tutorial. As a part of our DBWA session, brute forcing is the first attack we are going to do. But here, we will study three types of brute forcing. So to work with the brute forcing attack, first of all, open the DBWA application. So which was previously installed in our machine. So before work with brute force attacks, you can see left side brute force is there. But before work with brute force, we have to enable the or we have to lower the security level. First of all, you can see the security level is at a impossible level. We have to change it to low. So we will try all of these three possible methods. First of all, we are going for the low one and select the brute force attack. So we are having a login page here. So we already have the login password of admin. We can try login using admin user admin and the password is password, which is a default password. So we have login to admin account, but we don't know which all users are there in this account. So we are going to find out. You can see a small image is given below. So right click on this image and open it this image. Now we can see the image is there. But the interesting thing is at the URL. This is a path of the image. We are going to avoid the image name that is admin.jpg and we are going for the directory. It's interesting. These images are in the directory. So if you check around, each image have the username, the admin1337, like that each of the username is given as the image name. So we found all of the users in the DPWA account. So I have already copied this name to a file. We can see avoiding the .jpg extension, I have saved all of the users here. Like we previously discussed, we were working with this brute forcing with the drop suit which, which was previously installed in our class section. So please go through the video if you haven't installed DBWA and configure it properly. So I'm, I'm first of all opening my drop suit pro in my machine. So in your Linux machine, drop suit commercial will be pre-installed. You can work with that also. So first of all open the brub suit and now enable the foxy proxy in your browser which was pre which was previously installed by us and open the proxy and switch on the intercept in the brub suit so so now we are going to capture all of our communication using brub suit so now i am going to add some random text into the username and password field so here i am adding I just two values add add this is the username and password I am providing so when I press login this communication is going to be captured or it's been intercepted by the brub suit so we can see our username and password here is captured by the brub suit so now we have to send this to the intruder right click and send it to the intruder so intruder is a place where we are going to perform brute force attacks we, we can see there are two fields username and password to perform brute force attacks we have to have a set of passwords and username so we already have collected the username now we have to collect the password i will tell where we can find the passwords and also we already discussed about crunchy tool where we create our own wear list but now we are going to find some common passwords for that just open a browser and search for common password list in github so you can see we found the password so just copy this password and now we are going to feed into the prop suit 
So here in intruder, we have two fields to attack. That is the username field and the password field. So first of all, we are going to clear all of the default selected areas. So press the clear button. Then after, we have to select the place where we have to inject the payload. That is the username and password files. So we have two areas here. First of all, select the username area. And then we have to go for the password area so we have to change the option from sniper to cluster because sniper is only focusing on only one field so currently we are focusing on two field we have to go for cluster and we are importing the username field okay first of all we select the payload as one then we select the payload that is uh, username then after we are going for the password so password is already been uh, copied by from the site now I am going to paste this to the prop suit so why I am not feeding it as a list file or like a test file the reason is this password is too heavy so while loading from the machine our carliness can get into a hanging state so to avoid this I am directly copying and paste this password into the field and you can see I am going to perform start attack when I perform this attacks, you can see they are trying all possible username in the text file and also trying all possible passwords which I have pasted. So whenever a username is success, it we will get in the response like a welcome or success. But if it is incorrect, we will get some messages like invalid or incorrect password. So we can search using a term incorrect or success to find which all passwords are been found so first of all you found you can see the username of admin was the password of admin was password itself so we widely open we can see we are getting a success response if we go into any of the wrong passwords we are getting incorrect as the response so we can try one thing we can there's a search field here we can in we can search that term incorrect there so if any of the uh, response which matches with the incorrect which means this password is wrong so if any of them is not getting any response or like if, if it is matching if it's if any of them is not matching with the incorrect which means that that could be success we are searching with the native terms because here we can find a lot of wrong passwords and only few successful password I am going to search with the native team that is incorrect so I can find all of the incorrect password and I can find right password also so you can see here it is incorrect is matching so it means it is incorrect password so in next case we can say we can try here so there is no match cases which means it is not incorrect it is success so we can check this is the right password so this is a low level security attack on brute forcing this happened only because there was no validation so if there is a number of violation like a number of password attempt is 3 or 5 then it will not be possible to perform these attacks so i hope you understand how to perform brute force using brabsuit in the next video we will continue with the advanced topics